Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. It's a pretty awesome day. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you guys 10 weapons that are coming to Fortnite's Battle Royale game mode in the next couple of months. These weapons look absolutely insane. They've already pretty much been talked about a little tiny bit, but I'm actually going to go in depth on what these weapons do, how they're actually going to change up the game, and how exactly and when exactly we might be able to see these things. Uh, so before we actually get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, Videos, all the kind of school stuff you guys would be missing out if you never subscribed I am pretty much normally one of the first youtubers on all of the brand new news So if you definitely don't want to miss out on that click subscribe turn on notifications guys Do not de be do not be disappointed. That's what I'm trying to say here uh, But anyway first weapon that we're actually going to get into talking about is the airstrike weapon This is probably one of the more crazy weapons that they're going to be adding to the game and yes just like it says it's going to be a weapon that actually holds down these huge, huge bombs from the sky. It's uh, it's absolutely crazy, in my opinion. Like, I didn't ever think they would add something like this into the game. But it seems like Epic really want to push the boundaries on what we actually use in this game. And as you can see right now, it is on screen. And it looks very high-tech. As you can see, it's got the blue with the kind of orange, kind of like laser kind of tubes going through it. I assume that these tubes will recharge and they will be like the laser like kind of sight thingy I don't really know but as you can see on the side too it also says boom and basically what this is is I assume that it's going to have a radius in which you can aim so let's say for example uh, let's say uh, you can't aim let's say for example you are at salty springs you can't aim all the way down to dusty depot and make it actually like work you need to be a little bit closer than that so i would assume that this is going to work a kind of low to medium range if anything and when you do it is actually confirmed that six rockets will actually come down from the sky and bomb where exactly you held your little laser pointer on the screen i know that's a little crazy right it's so sick but yeah, like I said, it is definitely a crazy weapon that they want to add to the game and uh, probably one of the ones that is most on my list for, oh my god, I cannot wait to use that thing. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the second weapon, which is actually another shotgun. I know, right? They're going to be adding like five shotguns to this game. Absolutely insane. But yeah, one of the, th this shotgun in particular is actually called the full automatic shotgun. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory really but this shotgun actually has a drum barrel at the bottom of it which means that when you have a drum barrel on a weapon it pretty much the fire rate is going to be insane personally like it's I mean if you play Call of Duty and everything like that most weapons like the PPSH th that weapon fired like a beast that was probably one of the fastest weapons ever made it's crazy uh, but yeah this weapon will actually be a fully automatic shotgun where you can pretty much just hold down the right trigger and it will just bang 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 and kill and <laughs> But, obviously, when you have a fast fire rate on a weapon, the chances are that the damage is going to be very, very low. So, this weapon will only most likely work at low range. So, exa for example, like, if the guys open your grill, like, literally right next to your face, that is probably the time to switch to this weapon. I can imagine that they will end up removing this quite quickly. I just can't see it working, to be honest. But, you know... We never know, really. We never really know. Other than that, I just think that it's a little bit of a mistake to add this weapon to the game. Now, apart from that shotgun, we do also have an unknown shotgun, uh, which is on screen right now. And it is actually called the Hammer Crush. Personally, we don't know nothing about it. I haven't a clue. But all we know is, yeah, it does shoot slugs, so it is definitely a shotgun. It just looks kind of crazy, to be honest. It just looks like it should be, like... What, like another tack shotgun or something, maybe? Yeah, so, personally, I'm not gonna sit here and waste time talking about this weapon, because I genuinely don't know much about it. But this weapon has been rumoured to be joining us in Fortnite Battle Royale in the next couple of months. And next, we're actually gonna move on to one of the more exciting weapons, which is an explosive crossbow. Yes, that is right. You didn't think the crossbow could, be, could get any better? Of course it can, guys. Add a flaming little bolt onto it, and it's explosive. Absolutely insane. I definitely cannot wait to get my hands on this weapon. I really hope, though, that if they do add it, it is a little bit more powerful than the C4 that they added, because you genuinely can't even kill anyone with the C4 unless you throw, like, three of them down at them. So... Yeah, I really hope they up the damage a little bit of the explosives on the crossbow, as it is a bit of a hard weapon to actually, like, kind of, I don't know, use. Sometimes it is. I mean, how many kills have you got with a crossbow? I think I've got, like, maybe about 20? Maybe 20. I don't know. I, yeah, around about 20, anyway. So, you know, not the greatest. So, I do hope that the explosive crossbow will be a little bit of an improvement 
on the game. Now moving on to two weapons which are absolutely insane and I really really hope they replace the minigun because I genuinely don't like the minigun, I, I hate it, I think it's horrible, I've used it like twice ever and uh, yeah this actual weapon is called the M24 light machine gun, I'm actually not 100% sure if it's a light machine gun or a heavy one but yeah as you can see it's on screen right now and yeah it looks pretty awesome, it's got little bipods on the front of it there, it obviously holds like what, like I can imagine this clip to be around about 60 bullets or something like that and the crazy thing about it is Light machine guns do a lot of damage, so I can imagine that this would do pretty much the same damage or maybe a little bit less than an assault rifle. So definitely, definitely a weapon that a lot of people are going to start using once it actually drops. I can imagine that, yeah, if it does take out the, if it does actually replace the uh, the, the machine gun or, you know, the, uh, the Gatling gun or whatever, I can imagine that this would be pretty awesome to actually destroy bases and stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely, definitely an awesome weapon to keep in your inventory when you're playing the game in the future. Uh, other than that, we do have an unnamed light machine gun and pretty much it just looks the exact same as the one that I just showed you, to be honest. I mean, obviously it does have a little bit of a difference to it. Of course, the ammo pack underneath it is now yellow and it doesn't have a bipod, which means that it's probably a little bit more inaccurate. So I can imagine this one being like a common spawn and the other one, because it's got the bipod, which would necessarily make it a little bit better to aim. Uh, I can imagine that one being like maybe an epic variant or something like that. So yeah, only time will tell, but I am definitely excited for these two weapons to actually join us in the game. Next, we're on to the scoped M4A1 weapon. This one is just exactly like the M4A1. Of course, we have the M16 in this weapon now, in this game, sorry. And uh, now we're gonna have the M4A1, but except this one is going to be a kind of tactical weapon because, you know, it also has a scope on it and that's pretty cool. And if I'm not wrong, I actually believe that in front of the scope right there, there is a laser sight to it. I don't know if that's actually going to be a usable thing in the game, but sounds pretty awesome. And they've also got a vertical grip on it, which actually makes it very, very accurate. A lot more accurate than, let's say, for example, the scoped assault rifle. So yeah, I am definitely, definitely happy to see this weapon join the game. I'm a little bit unsure exactly why it has a little light on the side of it. I guess it's just kind of make it to make it look better, but it'd be really cool if the torch actually worked in nighttime. So like you could see the light kind of on the floor and everything. I don't know. I, I really hope like stuff like that actually works later on in Fortnite Battle Royale. That would be absolutely insane. Like imagine that they released like a dark map only and like there were lights on all over the street, right? But you could shoot the lights out to kind of use it to your advantage. I think personally for me, that would be amazing in this game. So yeah, if you agree, comment down below. I would actually love to know. Um, other than that though, we're going to move on to one of the only submachine guns that has actually been rumored for this game for quite a while and it is called the P90. The fire rate on this weapon is absolutely insane. At one point, I'm pretty sure this was even classed as one of the fastest weapons in the world in terms of fire rate. This one is going to be amazing for like running and gunning, I guess. And yeah, I believe that there's actually three different variants of this weapon in the in-game files, uh, which do different kind of damage outputs. So I don't know, maybe they're still messing around with it because they haven't found a sweet spot because maybe it's a little bit too underpowered, a little bit too overpowered. But this weapon will most likely actually replace the uh, MP5s, I guess they are, or the silenced machine guns. That is most likely what they will replace. So yeah, definitely cannot wait for this weapon because I hate the silenced SMGs. They do my head in. They're annoying. I don't know. One like equals a remove of the silenced SMGs and replacement for the P90 guys. Um, other than that, I actually did a video about this one the other day and it is called the G36C Assault Rifle. This is going to be the brand new assault rifle coming to the game, which I definitely cannot wait for because this weapon actually has two fire modes. I don't know whether it'll have two fire modes in the game, but it can actually shoot a uh, full auto or it can actually shoot like burst fire and that is really exciting if they actually allowed us to do full auto and burst fire on this weapon that would change fortnite battle royale forever i mean that would be absolutely insane i definitely cannot wait for this weapon i really hope they add it soon actually because i'm getting a little bit tired just by using like i mean personally for me i never use the burst assault rifle anymore that much unless i find a blue one which is hardly ever so i'm kind of tired of just using an m16 and a scar so i don't know i really love if they threw another third kind of a or i guess a fourth kind of assault rifle into the game i don't know i'd be pretty excited if they release this like in two months time or something like that 
And last but not least, one that a lot of people have been very excited about. I can imagine that Ninja will be absolutely ecstatic with this weapon, but it is actually called the AWM Collateral Sniper Rifle. Yes, that is right, collateral, guys, meaning that you are actually able to kill two people with one bullet with this weapon. This weapon is actually basically a hunting rifle, and the damage is higher, and also it can actually clap people when you shoot it through them. So, I don't know, this again is going to be another game changer because I have constantly shot people with the hunting rifle where there's been two people in a row and obviously the second bullet cannot penetrate the first guy because it's too weak, but this weapon will change it all. I mean, just think of all the times I could have collateral no scopes or something like that. That would have been insane. I don't know. I am definitely excited for this one. And I know for a fact a lot of streamers such as like King Richard, um, Ninja, maybe even Dakotas are very excited for this weapon. Definitely one to look out for. And I really hope they add them sometime very, very soon. Other than that, guys, we've pretty much reached the end of the video. I've just released to you 10 weapons that are coming to Fortnite Battle Royale in the future. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, comment down below what your most likely, what your most favorite weapon is from this list I guess it's it's too hard for me to actually say I mean it could be the G36 assault rifle the AWM sniper rifle or the airstrike gun for me the other weapons I think they could put on hold but yeah I don't know I'm very excited for it guys and I hope that you are too for more information about these weapons once it actually releases don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications and stay up to date guys I will be the go-to guy for Fortnite glitches guides videos all that kind of stuff so subscribe uh, but anyway guys thank you very much for watching have an awesome day enjoy battle royale guys and until next time i mean star lord oh see ya